Welcome to Luminosity Wellness Radio. I am Jeff Rennell, and I'm here with my co-host, Christine Essex. How are you doing today, Christine? I am incredible, grateful, and here to play. Awesome. We also have with us our man in the corner, Mr. Blue, Josh Carpenter. Oh, gosh. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, you're welcome, like always. And we also have our special guest sitting in already, Christine Contini. How are you doing today, Christine? I'm good. I didn't want to miss a minute. That's why I'm already here. <laughs> That's right. I love it. Great. So today's show, we are going to bring you Christine Contini, and we're going to talk about uh, the study group that she is doing, uh, Self-Healing is Real. Um, right now, we're going to just uh, talk about a little th- few things that happened at the center over the weekend and uh, the fun time that me and Josh had, too. So, Christine, do you mind uh, telling us a little bit what happened at the center this weekend? Oh, I get to start. Well, we, Friday was hopping while you guys were out playing. Christine was there working. <laughs> we had lots going on. We had Jason Nelson giving his free talk, and we had Stephanie doing a stretch and yoga and we had also a Reiki circle going on. So we had three major events going on simultaneously together. It was fun. It was fun. Sounds like luminosity is the hot spot on Fridays. Yeah. First Fridays are always good because we have an energy. The Reiki circle is a big circle that comes on, on the first Friday of every month. And so if people are looking for a place to go, that's, that's it. Yeah, and I, and I have to say, it's a really fun time. I've been there a few times for the energy circles where I've actually had time to sit in because uh, me and Christine are usually busy doing a lot of other things. Uh, but, uh, and I for, I'm sorry, I forget the lady's name who runs it on the first well, Friday. Well, um, that's changed, so we have Raquel doing it now. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that, we have a different person now. A good thing I didn't remember then. I know. Uh, but it, it, it is always fun. Uh, you know, if you want to come and experience some Reiki or just energy healing, you can come down to Luminosity Wellness Center on Fridays. Uh, and what time is that? Is that start at 6.30, I believe? Uh, 7. At 7 o'clock? Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah, come on down if you're interested in uh, finding out what this is about and you can receive some energy healing. Or if you are a practitioner or somebody that is practicing uh, to become a healer, you are more than welcome to come down and also uh, share your uh, healing experience with everybody. Yeah, it's a... Uh it's it's pretty phenomenal the way they do it is very comfortable and they welcome everyone and they actually get to talk about what they do in their own world and how they it, with their modalities and uh it's it's very very comforting i think it's it's successful in that way yeah and, and i think it's very educational too so if you really don't know what it's about you're going to be able to come down and you're going to uh, get some good information and you're really going to be able to see how it's working in the process yeah uh, no. And then the uh, Jason Nelson, he was doing like a free talk. He's doing another free talk this Friday. That's great. I, okay, I definitely you know want to be there yeah. Friday because I, I wanted to be there this last one. Good. But me and Josh had our little thing. We yeah, did. it's voice channeling. He's going to be doing voice channeling uh, demo actually at the at the center. So come on down. It's a free event. It starts also at seven. Yes, and so if you're not aware of what voice channeling is, if you're uh, familiar with medium work at all, what that is is where you go into a meditative state and you allow that energy, whether it's your guardian angels, whatever spirit that that particular person usually taps into, and they channel that information through them. And I've seen a lot of mediums do this, and it's really fun. I I enjoy it. Uh, You get some really great messages about life and how to handle yourself. Good. So, um, and that, and then we have our. Let's not forget to tell them about our expo this weekend. Oh right? yeah. Well, okay. yeah. We're definitely saving time okay. for that because right, we definitely good. want to talk about that today because okay, that is a lot of fun. Well, I want to hear about what happened on Friday. I want to hear from the boys. What did you do? Blood, well, sweat, and tears. <laughs> yeah. We, me and Josh got the really hard task for Luminosity Wellness Center. We had to go and represent at the. Uh, Nevada Coalition for uh, Suicide Prevention that was being sponsored here by uh, VANR. Uh, me and Josh went down and we participated and raced. Uh, we didn't really do very good, uh, but... Uh, we were racing against pros here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did my best. I 
I it, sweated it out. We had a good workout. Uh, that mm-hmm. guy sideswiped me so fast and was just gone. I didn't even see who it was. I couldn't even get his license plates. Uh, and those pros were amazing out there. And then Jeff did the same thing to me in the second race. So we actually made it two rounds. So we, we can uh, we can boast about that for yeah. sure. And we, and we did get better every single time we were out there. But it was a lot of fun. We got to mingle with a lot of the hosts down uh, at uh, VANR. And we got to talk to a lot of them and really get to see what they're doing with their shows. And we got to talk about what we're doing with our show. So to me, it was just a fun, fun night. And thank you, Josh, for being a part of that as well, too. Definitely. And I just wanted to say uh, hello to Guy Dawson and Angela Savage. We met them there, and that was uh, a really awesome time. Um, and we'll have more about you know their show with some commercials that we'll have coming up for you guys, too. Yes, very much. Um, 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 all quiet together time, guys. now. All right, all so right. we Next. have Christine Contini here. Hello, hello, Christine. Thank you, guys. And I am really excited to get into this uh, interview with you. I love the study that you do. Uh, one, I, I just love you in general. You are just absolutely amazing. You come into the center with your beautiful smile all the time, lighting up the place. Uh, any chance I get a chance to mingle with you, I'm there because I just love your energy. Um, and I'm also really, really impressed with what I've seen from the study when you first started that. Uh, the people that I got to talk with and work with really enlightened and having that drive to move forward. It yes. was really it was really awesome to see that. And then actually to see them after the study was done around the center and how mm-hmm. happy they always are is just a big plus. So uh, would you mind speaking right. a little so, bit? So um, our first study was, most, was primarily conceptual ideas. Um, how about I give a little bit of history about why the study came about before that we talk be, about yes. the study. It'll make yeah. a little yes. more sense. Um, uh, my personal journey was a very difficult one. I was very, very sick with multiple sclerosis. I was in bed 18 hours a day. I had small children. Um, medical science, the regular medical field, they weren't helping me. I wasn't getting anywhere. And so somebody said, go to a chiropractor. And you would think that's mainstream medicine, but I didn't know about it yet. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, that's how naive I was about what was available in the healing world started going to a chiropractor. She said, try these things. I tried a DO, I had transfusions, I changed my diet. Even the diet thing, mainstream medical didn't tell me to change my diet. Wow, that's amazing. I was shocked, yeah, right? When yeah. I look back now, I think they didn't, all these things I did to learn to heal my body and to learn to heal my mind and my spirit. The mainstream medical was, take this shot, take this pill, get rest if you can. Sorry, this is happening to you. Mm. And it wasn't, it wasn't a cold thing. They weren't cold and uncompassionate. They were loving, caring people, but this was their tool. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't the tool that got me out of where I was. Because like I said, 18 hours in bed a day because of the exhaustion and the physical pain and the debilitation of the myelin, just my system not working, um, it was too much. So they were focused mostly on the physical side of you. Correct. And so then you decided to take and look at the holistic part of you, the whole you, correct? Yes, exactly. Okay, good. And that's where Just the so chiropractor kind of started waking me up. She said, try this, try this, try this. And then I got on the internet and I started looking at everything to try. And <laughs> before you know it, I learned so many things that I was what I considered better. I was walking around doing so well that I wasn't in bed anymore. Was I? at a level of health I wanted to be, now that I look back, no. But it was so great compared to where I had been that it was night and day. Yeah, I I think that's awesome. And the one thing I I really want to pinpoint right now with what you're saying, and this is the one thing that I'm excited to do this radio show about, is what you did. You didn't just take no for an answer. You didn't, you know, allow that sickness to become you just because the doctors weren't sure what to do at the next point. You took matters into your own hand and started to look things up. And I think that's very important for people to take their own health in their hands and and to do some research. Maybe you might not know everything, but you can then take that to the doctors and say, here, what about this? Yes. Do you know, I didn't even know to look in the beginning, though. That's right. another thing about mainstream medicine. As I knew they were doing their very best. It didn't occur to me that there was anything more. And one day I woke up and I didn't feel sick. And my body didn't hurt. And my nerves weren't shaking. And I wasn't having you know, all of these things that I'd been having for months. And I thought to myself, if I can feel better for one day, I can feel better for the rest of my life. Uh-huh. And that's what started me looking and asking all of those questions. 
And then I found out that there are people that heal from multiple sclerosis, that it is possible, even though the doctor said, there's no cure, there's no change, we'll help you um, maintain the best lifestyle you can based on your reality. Right. And, and again, like you said, it wasn't like you were unknowing, they were kind of unknowing. Mm -hmm. It was there was the middle ground that you began to explore, which has brought you to this study. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Good. So the study wasn't even the next part of the journey. The next part of the journey is I had a massive heart attack and died. Okay. Which <laughs> <laughs> not many people can say that. Welcome so, back, Christine. She's back from Thank the dead you. right here at and the radio was, show. It was quite a shock to everybody because I was doing so well. I was in such a great state of health. But I want to tell you this, that if I hadn't been where I was in my physical, mental, and spiritual health at that time, right. I wouldn't have survived. It's they, key. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they had um, they had already given up on me because I'd been deprived of oxygen for about 45 minutes. And the heart going so fast that there's no oxygen moving through the body is what's happening at that point. And they weren't doing anything for me. And my husband at the time came in and he said a prayer over me. And I opened my eyes. Oh, wow. wow. I and never I heard this breath. part. I know. And I took a breath. And they're like, you said she was. And the doctor says, I know, but... And so they started doing all kinds of things to preserve my life at that point. I had a surgery. Um, I was airlifted to the, a special hospital for this surgery. And in that hospital, every day that people are there, it's a cardiac hospital. Mm -hmm. Every day, somebody dies in that hospital. And while I was there, so many people were praying for me and moving mountains for me, mm. but not one person died. Yay. Wow. And I had doctors and I had nurses coming into my room and saying, we know. Oh. They had they had faith, right. they knew what was going on. I was supposed to be a vegetable. I was supposed to be completely incapacitated based on my experience of, with my heart. And I was up and walking in four days. Mm. Amazing. And those miracles, because of your experience, you were able to share and help people to get their own minds awakened, correct? Yes, and yes. to find their own internal gifts. Yes, so and there was to be the, hopeful. The part of me that was involved in this other than just the prayers was um, I had my husband whispering in my ear, you need to meditate. Christine, oh. your your heart is doing this, your blood pressure is doing this, your temperature is doing this. You need to meditate and you need to get this under control. Now I was in a medical coma, mm -hmm. but every time he whispered something to me, you would see the monitor change. They have video of this. It wasn't it wasn't like this is just hearsay. They they had proof at the right. time that this was happening. And it made everything different. Well, self-healing is real and just the awakening, the awareness and taking the responsibility like what Jeff was mm. saying and owning where we're at and and then knowing where we're going cuz you have a big purpose. Right? Yes, Did that well, become aware to you so as well? So I started seeing visions okay. after that. And as I progressed in my spiritual awareness, because prior to the heart attack, I hadn't done much of the spiritual stuff, just a little bit. And when I woke up after that, I was like, I've got to go find myself a witch. <laughs> 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 and I went to a, a Wiccan store that's currently not open. It was open at the time, but it's no longer open. Uh -huh. And and I was, said, I'm supposed to meet somebody here. And they said, oh, well, we're having an event tonight. Maybe you're supposed to meet them there. And so I came to that event. Oh, really? Yes. And so then that you just, again. And we just kept following the journey. Ah, we kept going and it. going. I love it. That's awesome. That's we we got to get ready to take our first commercial break, but we will be right back with Christine Contini and her amazing story. Uh, take us away, Lawrence. Welcome back to Luminosity Wellness Radio. I am Jeff Rennell with my co-host, Christine Essex. And we are here with our special guest, Christine Contini, and she was just telling us about her amazing story. Uh, and if you don't mind, let's continue on with that. Well, um, the near-death experience itself is a great, big, huge story, a big part of my life. But I would rather save that for another day. But just so mm -hmm. you guys know that I did have that, and there was a tunnel involved, not necessarily the typical tunnel but i did go through a, a journey as i once i had passed okay and so then this led you to where you're going now with the study yes, or this so started to prevail you 
Um, so after I came back, I started meditating even more. I started following all of these different directions of what spiritual energy was. I started to awaken to it. I started to believe in what was possible. So even as a kid, I remember I was probably seven years old. I saw these signs, big billboards in Florida said ESP. Yeah. Extrasensory perception. It was right. a big TV show on at the time. And I thought, I want that. Mm-hmm. And do you know what I have today? You have <laughs> I ESP. Have I have um, my one of my strongest gifts is telepathy. Nice. And I believe it's because I desired it that that became one of my strongest abilities. Mm-hmm. I do believe that personal desire and willness and um, just being awake brings us to a lot of things that we probably wouldn't get to. I was planning to work directly with cancer after the heart attack and after my second death, by the way, that again, that's a longer story for right. another day. Um, I was aware of what was possible. And on my third option to die, they made me beg to stay so that I would remember that I have this information now because I kept forgetting it's really hard to live here and to go through what we go through every day. It can be really hard. And I realized the third time when they made me beg that I have something to share and I started seeing visions. And I was planning this whole thing about cancer and how, how to bring people through it in mm-hmm. a healthy way instead of dying from it. And I was working directly with cancer patients and we were having success. And then I had this vision, it was about 12 years into the future, of being in a emergency room and somebody coming in and they're bleeding out and the doctor saying, I can't find the bleed. And someone with abilities like me walking over and several people putting their hands on this person, stopping them from bleeding out why the doctor found the bleed and it was so shocking and I had people around me in my planning session for cancer at the time help doctors working with me to make this possible when I had that vision they were all sitting there and they said what just happened and I said change of plans guys (laughs) okay (laughs) we've got something different to do and that fits in we talked a little bit about the holistic hospital and the vision of that so that's that's where we kind of are on that same page too Definitely, it's a goal. And so I had to, in my mind, I thought, that's where we're going to be in 12 years. What do we need to be doing today to show that this is possible, that this is something real that needs to happen? And that's where the study was born. Mm. How can we prove that self-healing is real so that we can bring all of the components of health together, mainstream, Western, Eastern, everything into one? Yeah, under one roof and with the right people yeah. and we're all gathering as that collective working together and that's where uh you started with 25 right Through yes the first study yeah i was i was very hesitant to do the first study because i thought maybe i've created this maybe i'm insane and i occasionally <laughs> go back to maybe i'm insane but it all seems so real <laughs> right. and my reality does prove to me every day that this is real i have confirmation after confirmation i truly have no doubt that what i do is real and that we're changing the world with it yeah i I agree sometimes i want to doubt my abilities at times but i've seen too much i've felt too much i've experienced way too many things that i know it is 100 percent real out there and that's why i want to get these messages across Uh, one of the great things about the study that really fits in with what we're doing is the prevention part of it because what you help uh bring to your I don't know, students, or I don't know what you call them in the study, Uh, but uh, what you bring to them is knowledge on prevention and how to stay healthy. Is that correct? Yes. So the second study, we're bringing a lot more prevention in um, through nutrition, through body awareness. And the first study, we did mostly conceptual ideas. Now, I want to let you know um, what it does. The study itself, when we track everybody's progress, this is how we're proving that self-healing is real. Correct. We're going to give them all of the tools that they need. We're going to give them all the support they need. And they're going to do the work. And mm-hmm. at the end, we look back and we say, this is how we can prove that this is real. Now, with the prevention thing, what we're looking for for the next study is we're looking for 100 bodies that have something that maybe they don't even know what it is yet. Mm-hmm. So when I first started getting sick with multiple sclerosis, I went into the doctor several times with this long list of symptoms. And there's nothing they could pinpoint. Okay. And this went on for a couple of years, by the way. So I could have stopped the progression at some point if I had known what I know now. Correct. But at the time, I didn't because that was part of my journey. So now we get to, because I went through that journey, we get to stop the progression for a lot of other people. We want people that have, they're, they're, they're overtired all the time. They have no patience. They can't handle stress. They, um, 
the brain doesn't seem to be clear like it used to be. Their memories go are going. All of these symptoms, um, light bothers them too much, sound bothers them too much. Any of these little symptoms that you can't really pinpoint what's causing it. Mm -hmm. And when we take them through this program with all the preventive type tools that they're going to have, they're going to see a decrease. Hmm. And you know, that's good for us, for the documentation yes, side of it, right? And that's why we need to do it as a study, because I've done mm -hmm. this with my own clients. I've worked through these concepts and these programs and these um, extra things with them. We've been doing this for years now, and we need to show it in a scientific format and not just, oh, this was my client, and this is what their experience was, and this is the solution. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to go to a major university that's working medical with Davis or Harvard, some, somebody that's doing these medical researches and bring them this information and say, here we go. Now let's move this somewhere else. One of the things I love about you um, in the study and some, we got these questions like, so who, who's this study gonna go to? You know, where's this gonna go? And I loved her answer. She says, no, we don't have to worry about where we need to send it. They're going to come and get it from us. <laughs> Just, and I was like, yeah, that is right. So, I mean, luminosity has been blessed from the moment you walk through the door and every step in between. And we just want to say thank you because we get to all be part, Jeff, I, any of the practitioners that are working there, uh, we all are, uh, we're all a part of it. And those who want to be. Those yeah. who want to be, it's all by choice. And then uh, Christine also works with Apprentice. Do you want to oh, talk yes. a little bit about that? Yes. So one of the reasons I, I'm, I'm doing a free apprenticeship program currently okay. that meets twice monthly. And the primary reason I need that is I need 25 people to help me run the next study. And I'm taking people from the first study that loved it, and I'm training them how to help me with the next study by teaching them the energetic stuff that I know to be true. Mm -hmm. And it strengthens their abilities, it gives them something for themselves. And I thought, well, I'm already doing that with my personal apprentices, why don't we open that up to the rest of the world? Because what do I want, what is my main goal? Mm -hmm. To prove that self-healing is real. And how do you do that? By spreading the word. And how do we spread the word? By awakening people. And how do you awaken? By, by participating. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, prog a progression that way. Um, in order to to participate in the apprenticeship program, I do need you to schedule an interview with me mm -hmm. um, because we have certain guidelines that we're currently following in Good. order to make sure that it's congruent with what we need. So could you say the phone number or where they could get a hold of you at so oh, that those goodness. listeners that and, are listening And right can now. I ask you really quick, w do you need any experience or anything like that in order to become an apprentice for you? You just need to feel called. Mm -hmm. Okay. If mm -hmm. you feel that this is interesting to you, then you want to talk to me. Because even if you're not going to be part of that apprenticeship program, one of my talents and abilities is to look through your energetic history and future and to give you an idea and a direction where to go with it. So if, you're been qu if you've been questioning and asking yourself, what do I do? How do I make this possible? Then call her. give me a call. Yeah, that, that's call beautiful her. because I know when I talk to a lot of my clients or just people in general, there's a lot of people nowadays that it's just like, I, I have this weird feeling inside. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I need to help or, or yeah. to do something. So if you're one of those people, definitely give Christine a call. Yeah. You, you won't be sorry. Even if you don't get on the apprentice program, I'm sure you're just your conversation with her is going to be self-healing in that aspect as well, too. So, yes, for the listeners out there that are interested, please call Christine at 702-885-8358, 702-885-8358, and that is Christine Contini. Around the office, she's Contini. I'm Essex. So. <laughs> yeah, and if you're at the, uh, at your, you're at the center there and uh, you run into an old girl, just say Christine and you've got a 50-50 chance. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Another thing is, for those that want more information, we are we almost have the website ready for that. Good. And you'll be able to find a link for that on the Luminosity page. Perfect. Um, coming up sometime in the middle of next week, if not sooner. Good. She is rocking and rolling on this study. I mean, she has, she's even at, at our meeting, uh, I don't think, or Josh was there. Uh, Christine put out the generous offer of helping us to uh, work with our own apprentice. So thank you for that. And Sorry. I am looking forward to that because I think we all have gifts to share. And uh, with you leading us, 
it's going to work out just perfect. It's going to be a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. Yes, it is. I am actually, I feel blessed that I was part of that first study and to be able to work with some of those people. So mm. I'm definitely looking forward to the uh, second part here and, you know, being doing whatever I can for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So anyone listening out there, you know, we do have a call-in number. at 702-483-4444. So if you want to call in and ask some questions, we are here. Lawrence is here to answer it, and we'll answer them as we come along. The great questions that we get. Yes. And I think we're also still giving away two more Ooh. tickets to the Night of the Unknown on yeah. October 30th. You do, definitely do not want to miss that. All type of mystics and card readers, uh, pet talk readers. Palm. And palm readers. At one time we had a toe reader. I don't know if they'll be back, but that <laughs> was definitely interesting. Great yeah. fun. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll all be in costume, and the place will be decorated, and we will be having the most fun with every single person that comes through that door. So we're... Uh, uh, right now, we're focusing on our, our October 10th, which is Saturday, and getting people. We're having, oh, my goodness, the vendors are going to be there. Uh, we're going to have a weekend there, and we're going to have uh, all kinds of fun stuff. So we'll yeah, talk a little bit about that later, I guess. Yeah, I, we're uh, planning on going into that a little bit later. Uh, but, yeah, that's Sunday or Saturday. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm so used to it being on a Sunday. Saturday is going to be amazing. I definitely can't wait. I love the expos. I love going out there and mingling with the people and everything. So I am looking forward to that. <laughs> I am understanding when you said the show the show last week. I was like, what show? I was panicked. <laughs> the 29th, what show? <laughs> and he says, do you remember we're having the show, our radio show? And I was like, oh, my gosh. You know, what yeah. are we <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, that I'm definitely looking forward to. I right. can't wait for that day. So it looks like we got a caller that's calling in. Uh, her name is Sharon. Uh, hi, Sharon. How are you? I'm fine. Hey, this is Chef Sharon from Healthy Living Las Vegas. Chef Vegas Sharon. Oh, that Rega. How are you? Hi, hi, Sharon. <laughs> hey, I have a question for Christine. Okay. Which yes. one? Um, Christine. <laughs> um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, on the uh, MS issue, um, are you showing anything at all in, in any of your clinical studies? Because a lot of stuff I'm reading peer-reviewed wise. I'm sorry, you, can you, I don't think wrong, I... Essential. Whoops, you're cutting out, I'm sorry, we can't hear your whole question. I'm going to need you to start okay. over. Okay. The research for MS, because I'm reading a lot. Oh, Sharon, we don't have a good connection. I'm only getting about a third of what you're asking. Okay, tell you what. I'll call in on a landline. I'll call you right back. Okay, okay thank you. Bye. Thank you. All right, and while we're waiting for Sharon to call back, we're going to take our second break here. And we'll be right back. Oh. Welcome back to Luminosity Wellness Radio. I am your host, Jeff Rennell, with my co-host, Christine Essex. Hello, hello. We heard Sharon is back. Are you back, Sharon? I am back. Thank you so much. Christine's ready to answer that question for you. Great. Can you guys hear me better now? Absolutely. Oh, much better. Thank you. Yes, and you'll probably have okay, to ask great. the question again, too, please. Sure, sure. Um, <clears throat> my question was, any research that you have done or collected any data showing or correlating the relationship between essential fatty acids and cholesterol deficiencies, i.e. omega-3, 6, 9, and selenium. Okay, that would be on the nutrition side, and we haven't, in our first study, we did not use the nutritional part. In okay. our second, third, fourth, and probably closer into the fifth study, we'll be getting information based on what you're asking. And we've already mapped out a program, but we need support and we need uh, people that can test those types of things. In our second study, we'll be doing some brain mapping that will mm -hmm. show the connection uh, between all of these things. But as far as testing um, the blood and the body fat and all of those things, we don't have that available to us these yet. Uh, this, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. We need the funding for that, and that looks like we'll have the funding by the fifth study. Excellent. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, out of curiosity, I mean, you give me a little 411 on, um, there are people that do different things like brain pathways. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of what you're talking about in this study that you're going to be doing? No, this, st this study is unique in the fact that it does body, mind, and spirit all at once. So if mm. we take a conceptual mental idea and then we move you energetically through it and we have you do a physical release at the same time, 
Um, say, and that would be over a course of an hour. That's not a five minute deal. But over right. the course of an hour, we're gonna bring you through, um, uh, let's see, think of a topic, perception. Perception is everything. And if I tell you that your perception is causing you pain and I take you energetically, mentally, and physically through that, at the end of that, you now have an understanding and you have a tool that you didn't have previously. And that is how we're moving you through things on your own. We're giving you all of this to do on your own. We're doing it with you so you feel confident and comfortable in it. And then when you go home, you have the tools and you have a resource center to rely on. That's and you've already had that experience so you're not fearful to correct. move forward on your own. Correct. Correct. Got it. Got it. Oh, very interesting. I, I'll tell you something. I'll be very honest, and even though we're on the air, I wish I had the time because I would love to participate in something like this. Oh, you know, but, that is an excellent observation you made. That a lot of people would love to have the time and feel like they won't. And so what we are doing this study that we didn't do the last one is we're doing it also at a distance because I have a lot of people out of the state that have said, hey, I'd like to do something like that. And we're going to be... It's going to be an online program this time, not necessarily required to be in person. In person will be more fun for a lot of you because in person mm -hmm. can be that way. But because it will all be resourced and um, online, you can do it at your convenience. And that's I'm not a good online, though I'll be honest. I'm huh? not. Well, you I cannot stay focused because I got to do the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm so well. easily distracted if I try to do online. Then you definitely need the study so we can help you with that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Sharon. We, we, we can help you with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Thank you so specialty. much, Sharon. Thank you very much for calling in and yeah. for your question. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, so moving forward, it looks like we might have another caller here. Not sure. One sec. Yes, we do have another caller. Oh, we'll we be are. taking shortly, <laughs> but Jeff's going to go ahead and... Uh, well, I was just going to say, Josh, why don't you really quick tell people how they can tune in on Periscope or Twitter or whatever that is that you were talking about. Yes. Uh, f uh, join us on Twitter. We have a live hashtag going on right now. Um, it is hashtag wellness radio LV, like Las Vegas. You can follow us live and get information from from there. Also go to Facebook, Luminosity Wellness Radio, and uh, we have a commercial for our Night of the Unknown, so check that out. might give you a little insight as to what we have coming up. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to that call now. We have Lloyd on the phone. How are you doing, Lloyd? I'm doing great. great. I'm really happy to be hearing this stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. What's your question, Lloyd? Sure. It's for Christine. Um, I, I only caught uh, last portion of this, and uh, I was kind of wondering, uh, for one thing, uh, uh, do you touch on uh, like QED, uh, you know, uh, in addition to the, the types of, uh, of spiritual healing that you, you're involved with? I'm sorry, is what, is, what is QED? Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's like a technology that uses, you know, thought uh, to control uh, you know, monitors, or you know, they'll have a little plane flying, you try to make it fly higher or lower on the monitor, okay. using uh, electrodes on your head and a little helmet. And, uh, you. you know, I was wondering, I thought that might be, you know, uh, something that would be naturally associated with it. Absolutely. We have Becky Basham with uh, Neuro Fitness, Edge for Neuro Fitness, who will be doing that section of the, the uh, program. And so she has the uh, electrodes to hook up and the monitors for you to watch. And Right. So that another thing. Wow. Another thing with Becky that she's doing for us is um, somebody comes in and we go through this list of symptoms. For instance, if somebody comes in, they've had depression over long periods of time, we're going to be able to track from the beginning to the end of the study the changes in their level of depression based on the brain mapping. And so huh. these tools and techniques we're teaching them and this process and this new way of thinking of combining <coughs> body, mind, and spirit all into one instead of just focusing in right. one or the other at a single moment Yes. is making big changes and we'll have proof of that with the brain mapping and anyone else that has other recommendations and other techniques because there's so much research I just can't get to on my own and so that right. same phone number that we gave you the, the 885 number if you were to send me a text message with any kind of suggestions or anything you're interested in seeing in our studies that would be excellent because then we can have somebody contact somebody who does that look at the research and see mm -hmm. how it will help prove that self-healing is real and how it also will help people in their own journey 
Absolutely. I need that number. I missed oh, it. Okay. Uh, I tried to. We'll get it for you. And also, you can go to our Luminosity Radio Facebook page and ask your questions, and Christine Contini would be able to answer them for you. We'll get make sure that she gets those. But the phone number for Christine Contini is 702-885-8358. And she can answer all these questions about the study in particular and uh, what we have going on there. And if you want to reach us on Facebook, it's going to be facebook.com forward slash Luminosity Wellness Radio. Just put your question in either a private message or a post, and we'll get back to you on that one. Thank and you very much, Lloyd, for your time. I appreciate your time and patience. Thank you so much. Also, I think Christine has another uh, website that's coming up. Right. It'll be linked to the Luminosity Wellness. There'll uh, be the totalconcept.org will be finished and complete. There'll be a link right on the Luminosity Wellness site soon. Thank you. So stay connected to us, Lloyd. We appreciate will, your interest. Brilliant. You'll hear from me again. All right. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you for calling, Lloyd. And to anyone else, uh, definitely, uh, if you don't have a chance to come in or call, definitely come in down to the center because uh, there's really no experience like actually being there and really feeling the environment and what it's about. Uh, so we are at 2400 North Tanea Way, Suite 101. That's Las Vegas, Nevada, 89128 if you're punching it into your GPS. Um, and give, come give us a visit. And uh, we're actually going to get into the festival that we have coming up this Saturday as well. Jeff, why don't you give us some more details on that? All right, yeah, this Saturday from 12 to 7, we have the Luminosity Wellness Expo. Um, we are going to be there. All the, well, I don't want to say all the practitioners, but a lot of the practitioners will be there doing different demos. I will be demoing stuff on Theta Healing, also doing some muscle testing and testing chakras for people uh, and answering any questions that anybody might have. Um, we'll also be doing some promos for the radio show while we're there as well. Um, we'll have other practitioners there doing demos, uh, different uh, vendors and stuff, and selling anything from crystals to incense, uh, aroma healthy therapy. food, aromatherapy, and I'm going to send it over to Christine here because from what I heard earlier today, there's going to even be a pony. There, <laughs> there is a pony, and the pony's name is Merlin. 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 Awesome. <laughs> Does he wear How a fitting. hat? Well, <laughs> well, I'm not sure yet, but Merlin will be located in the corner under the trees. Mm -hmm. And please, uh, Merlin's there for your, bring your children, for you to pet, for you to look at. No riding of Merlin, though, because we, liability purposes, we thought Merlin should be a look at pony. Feel his energy. So, <laughs> feel his energy. Mm -hmm. And he's actually uh, there to uh, promote equine therapy because we do have that at the center as well with nancy stone so she just recently bought jake and jake is she'll be full on into her equine therapy and so she, please visit her booth with the pony and get more information jan's also over there with uh, coach your soul jan will be uh sharing that area with uh, nancy okay that'll be great mm -hmm. yeah jan is a fabulous uh person she yeah her business is coach your soul she does uh cranial activation uh she also does theta healing as well um and i'm not sure what else she does but she is just a beautiful soul and i just loved it jan to death i've actually known jan almost my whole life so that's uh, right so i just want to pop in real quick and give a definition because we did say equine for those that don't know what equine is it's therapy with horses um and can it's you explain kinda, that a little more yeah and you know nancy when we have her on she'll be able, be able to explain it more although it's a mirroring uh, it's it's a mirroring of emotions between the horse and the person and there's great um, magic that happens during that time especially with the children because you know you you, you come up with some fear and the horse will respond back to you and wow. so to watch the two it's quite fascinating and uh, Nancy's that's it's her passion now and that's what she's also a life coach and she wants to that's a part of what she does Very so good. it'll be part of our study too yes yeah. yes yeah. that is mm -hmm. she's already volunteered to have that in the second study which was a great surprise it was something that was not currently on the list so i'm very excited to have that and by the way guys i will be at the event on the 10th yes. i will sell the raffle tickets the so come on down and make sure you get a raffle ticket from me and i can answer questions in person then as well you know what's fun about the raffle is you go around each vendor, and we have about 40 vendors or more. Each awesome. vendor will have their own bag at their table. 
with their gift sitting next to it. And you're going to buy your tickets from Christine Contini. And then you go around with your tickets and you drop them in the bags of the items that you want. Instead of getting things you don't want, ah, you actually get to, you have a shot at winning what you want. And so we're going to have, yeah, we're also going to have like a fishbowl for business cards, drop them in and uh, win some tickets to the Night of the Unknown. So there's, oh my goodness, there's healing bracelets, uh, makeup products. Uh, we have, oh uh, my goodness, DJ uh, will be playing from two to four. Uh, we also will have, as Jeff was saying, the Luminosity Wellness Radio booth, and that's where we'll actually be uh, having the raffle tickets and announcing winners and all of that stuff. So uh, stop by there, definitely drop off your information so we can let you know about future events and things that are going on with us as well. Um, so, uh, Well, I'd also say that you could probably, if I'm not mistaken, get your Night of the Unknown tickets at the festival as well, too. Ooh, 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 for we a discount? Can we yeah. do a discount if yeah. they come? Oh, let's do a discount if they come and they mention this radio I show. think that's a great idea. Right <laughs> Josh, I guess we're Woo! doing a discount for tickets on Saturday. Uh -huh. <laughs> Speaking of which, we are going to be giving away two tickets t today. Today. Uh, we're going to be taking... Which caller? Caller... 13. Ooh, yeah, lucky, lucky number 13. Let's do that. All right, so All right. we're going to take a quick commercial break here, and we'll be back with uh, with caller 13. All right, let's give out the number really quick. Uh, the number is 702-483-4444. One more time, 702-483-4444. Calling in now. Welcome back to Luminosity Wellness Radio. I'm Jeff Rennell with my co-host Christine Essex, and we are here with our special guest, Christine Contini. Hello. And the man in the corner, Mr. Blue, Josh Carpenter. Hello, hello. And we've been talking today with Christine Contini about her study, so I just want to say thank you for coming and, and speaking to us about what you have going on. It's really fabulous, and, and you're amazing. So I just want to thank you for being our guest today. Thank you very much. And for sharing your life story, or a piece, a very small piece, actually, of your story. And we would like to have you back and talk deeper. Because be I think great. people are interested in what does happen Yeah, I think the near-death experience would actually be a mm -hmm. great topic. Because so many people are still afraid of dying, even though that they yeah. know there's something after. And mm -hmm. I actually talk to dead people now, so it's like there's lots going on after Ooh. you die. You don't and really the, have to worry so much. Yeah. And there are several people we know that have had past life experience that we could have a really neat show we, on that. Yeah. That oh, would yeah. be really neat. I think and Danon. Yeah, we oh, got God. we've got some we've got <laughs> some we've got some great great people to bring in. Um, and let's not forget that Jason Nelson is going to be at the center tomorrow night doing his uh, free com uh, free seminar workshop. He'll actually fun. be channeling. So yeah, voice I, I channeling. I'm going to put that on my calendar. I want to do that. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be fun. And so. if you've never experienced anybody channeling, I would definitely recommend that you come and at least see what he has yeah. to offer tomorrow night. Uh, it, to me, I, I find it fascinating listening to people channel. Good. Sometimes good. it's hard getting past the voice. There was, uh, <laughs> when I lived up in Salt Lake City, there was a little pretty girl that did the channeling, <laughs> but she had this outrageous accent, and it was so hard to listen to her, so I had to close my eyes anytime I went to uh, hear a message because it just threw me off every time hearing that voice from that little body. <laughs> yeah, well, I attended his last Friday night's one, and he was talking about how there's different uh, types of channeling, yes, too. Yes, yes. In and fact, in one of the apprentice classes coming up on the 21st, we're going to be talking about channeling and some of the different styles yeah. so that people that are interested might want to contact me and see if they can be part of that good. yeah I, I definitely will be there friday okay good so let's so thank you and we really really love you and thanks we, everybody we we just are so happy yeah we're happy you're part of our team yeah. all right is mr uh, blue gonna take us through some Time for the social shout social. out. Woo! Social shout out today. If you'd like to uh, visit our community and uh, be a part online, uh, one, visit us on luminositywellnessradio.com, or you can go to our center site, which is luminositywellnesscenter.com. Um, if you go to luminositywellnessradio.com, we'll have our links to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and uh, Pinterest and we also are on Periscope um, I have a class coming up for that 
which is going to be next Monday. So I will be giving more details on how that works so you guys can watch and uh, I can keep sh- broadcasting. That's like the newest awesome. thing now, right? Periscope is one of the newest ones? It is, definitely. It's a way for us to be able to broadcast ourselves live anywhere on video. Awesome. So it's connecting people like no other. Uh, military wives are loving it, uh, grandparents mm. with their grandchildren. So it's not just for business. It's really connecting lives and allowing each other to be closer when they're so far apart. So uh, we're definitely going to get into that training. On um, the social media revolution workshops, you can go onto Facebook and get any kind of training for uh, how to get onto these sites if you're unsure to do that and that's something you've been wanting to do. Um, And then also, of course, visit us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash luminosity wellness radio and uh, we're going to have a lot of the information there in that feed and that's where you guys can interact with us and really ask your questions and please like us we would definitely like you to like us if you stop by the center check in Uh, these are all things that let us know what we're doing is working and uh, we really uh, need you guys to help us with that so thank you so much for your support and tuning in and uh, we'll see you on the web thanks for the social broadcast and thank you josh for your all of your help every every week Mm -hmm. Uh, we just we wouldn't be here without you Um, I want to give a quick shout out to my event tonight Uh, I will be holding a theta meditation tonight at the luminosity wellness center Um, it runs from 7 to 8 o'clock it will be a guided meditation I'll take you into a deep theta state and I will give healing downloads that are specific to certain type of healing so uh, right now I'm not sure what I I haven't created it yet I will create it as soon as the radio show is done Uh, but I always tap in don't you wait because you want to make sure it's person specific and as soon as people know about it and you feel them coming isn't that how you create it I do, but I usually do it ahead of time because there is really no time and space and stuff. So I I usually do it ahead of time and then ask. Yeah, and I I create it for whoever's going to be there that night, or at least that's what I ask guidance for. Um, So that's usually why I do create it so late, but uh, I like to be prepared. So I wish I could have got it a a few days ahead of time and let people know what the healing was going to be based on. But yeah, I will tap in today and get the information and, and it'll be specific for whoever attends tonight. I also want to put a little shout out to, we have a couple rooms available for rent. We have our big rooms available if you want to do events there. So please call us and uh, book or come view and see what we have to offer people. And we do have a visiting practitioner uh, options as well for hourly or uh, daily. Great. Great. And then again, my meditation is from seven to eight. It is a love donation. Uh, Don't feel like you have to donate. Uh, it is my kindness to give out to everybody else. So uh, I'd love to love see you there. Jeff. Hey. That's right. <laughs> so we got about one minute left. I just want to say Luminosity Wellness Center is focused on sharing holistic health solutions. We're here for you, and we definitely want to be able to help individuals and in our community. Uh, so please reach out to us. Uh, we're reaching out to you, and uh, let's make this world a better place, one person at a time. Thank you so much for oh, listening. Oh, yeah. Community, community. And I'm sorry. We got so caught up in what Christine was saying today that I we have two new sponsors that we got today and I just want to give a, a quick shout out to them um, it is all service Inc uh, it is a company that goes and they are a full service company that does AC heating and refrigeration with residential and commercial they can handle all of your business needs um, and then also we have uh, Rick Essex 7-Eleven over on Sahara and Teddy, who are also a new sponsor of us. So thank you very oh. much for becoming part of our family. Mr. Essex, I'm Ooh. impressed. Wow. Yeah. I wonder who, who we know. Ooh. Who knows him? Well, I think we all do. Uh, <laughs> this is Mr. Thank you, Rick. Blue and Luminosity Wellness Radio signing off with Christine Essex. Jeff Rennell, thank you for our guest, Christine Contini, and me, Mr. Blue. You guys have a great day. Keep the world smiling.